okay here's the two front wheels and um, you remember from the first video what they looked like before they were pretty scabby this one still needs a little attention I've not spent as much time on this as the other I think this is the front right still need to do a bit more sanding in this area just to get it all level and there's a couple of bubbles so I still need to get rid of um, but I've been going over with I think I think 180 grit or uh, a fairly low grit sandpaper um, to do the kind of worst of it and then going over the rest with 400 grit I've sanded it all down that you can pretty much feel no difference in the level between the bare metal and the old paint done that all around the rim as well and places like that you really can't feel a change so hopefully I'll, I'll use some filler primer just to build up the level but hopefully it'll be all right I've got some alloy wheel filler which I'm going to mix up and according to the video I followed you just need to push it into all these curbing scratches and marks and that'll bring the level up this wheel has a slight ding in the rim somewhere you can it looks quite nasty oh I think I can feel it here not sure if you guys can see it but uh, it comes up quite a bit there so I'm not really sure if I if it's safe for me to continue to use this wheel but oh well um, well no I'll I'll maybe take it to the garage and get an opinion from them before I put any paint on this wheel because that would be a waste of paint and anyway let's get cracking with the filler certainly on that one Got some fairly nasty bubblage under the badge here and also to there, so I'm going to have to take the boot handle off to deal with that. I've also I've got a boot handle from a slightly higher spec model. This one's just the kind of black plastic, same as the bumper trim. The one the slightly upmarket one that I've got is body coloured but from a black car, so but it should fit, it's the same part. So I'm probably going to rub it down and spray it the same silver as the car to make this one look a little more upmarket. Um, it's got a few bubbles on this arch, certainly here, and more noticeably down there, so I'm going to have to deal with that. And also that arch is beginning to go a little bit. And I think this front arch is significantly worse, you can see the bubbles there. I'll maybe start on arches today as well, because I need to get this car sorted. This arch I think is the best one, but it's still a bit rusty and bubbly down there, so we'll have to sort that out. Okay, it's now been a few days, and the wheel that you saw in primer in the last clip is now had a few coats of gloss black and a couple of coats of wheel lacquer. I'm using wheel lacquer because um, the, one of the videos I followed for learning how to do this said that brake dust is acidic and attacks normal lacquers, so you need to go for wheel lacquer. That's, I think, £3.60 a tin from the local, local motor factors. And I'm really happy with the way this wheel's turned out. It's going to need another coat or two of lacquer. It's still looking a bit satiny in those bits that are hard to get. It's, it's going to be gloss black in the end, but I'm, I'm just being careful at the minute. You can see some slight imperfections around there where there's a slight difference in level but from a distance the wheel looks great and it's not a show car I just want it to look a bit nicer without spending loads of money and I've got some brand new BMW center caps to go in these and I think they're going to look pretty nice I've got another wheel in primer I've started using a different primer um, because I've run out of I ran out of the other one that was from Lidl. It was a really nice primer, left a smooth finish, uh, so not so much need for sanding, but the can I had started leaking and then I finished it. They only have it once a year, so I ordered this filler primer from Dingbro and it's, it's really good. I was actually remembering that when I was a wee boy, I had this Burago model of a Porsche 911 that was a sort of rally car one and it had yellow wheels on the front and back wheels on the, black, on the back so uh, 
50,000 likes and this is how we're going to keep the wheels <laughs> yellow on the front, black on the back. It's going to be sick. I've also made a car start on the car's rustiest wheel arch, sanded it down and uh, I know I've probably done something wrong here but I'm fairly new with this kind of bodywork but I've just really put this paint on here to keep to protect the bare steel. I'll maybe sand it off and do it slightly better. I can still see a slight difference in level there um, but we'll We'll see if we can sort that out, but at least it's protected for now. Okay, we've now got the rusty arch filled and primered. Here goes nothing. Coming along quite nicely, I think. Um, can see a bit of an edge there, but and a little bit where I should have perhaps actually used some body filler and just skimmed it over and to make the paint level. But I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it's. It's going to protect the metal through the winter and that's really what I want more than anything. I'm not a huge fan of silver so if this car is going to be a long term keeper I might end up respraying it but I'm pretty pleased. Not the best arch repair I've ever done but by no means the worst. Okay guys, the last wheel is in colour. Just need to get some lacquer on there. And here's our other three. These are all balanced and ready to go back on the car. It's starting to look very nice. I've shaded in the letters, got some tyre shine on there. Looking good. You can see here that we've fitted our new front right indicator unit. No more blinker fluid for us. That looks so much better. If the car turns out to be a long term keeper, I might well replace this one as well just to be more in keeping. I feel that the the grey here is looks better with this. So we'll maybe do that. 